And in the film, all right, uh, we see a young boy, Ananias, who goes through his initiation, has, he's, he's taught, I think, the importance of culture. Yeah. Can you talk about, about the initiation ceremony a bit? Yeah, the initiation ceremony, as you see, it's telling for next generation. It is telling a story for the next generation to so that his generation will never be weak. Make it strong for their future. That is why in that form, in my father's country, that initiation through Ananaya is telling Ananaya to make him strong so that he can be strong for his children for the future. I'm seeing them how tall they are. <laughs> so it depends a little bit on the boy. Yeah, on the boy. He's He's about to uh, um, know how to get fish, yeah? run like a man, walk, talk like a man. It's time for him to circumcise. And what does it mean once a boy has his initiation? When the boy has his initiation, he is almost a man. A man now. To look after himself. That part of is um, you can see those water holes, those water holes, and you can see those uh, tracks coming from going down, uh, going up, and on this this side. That means when uh, the bird animal goes to drink at that water. It's a sacred water, but only a uh, broga goes to that water hole. So it's a sacred water hole near Durubitbi? Yeah, near Durubitbi. Also, the design, the design that you see in Ananias body, that design is telling a story. It has a story in the painting, the design that he has. It is a special. That is the part of the real um, sacred, sacred. We use it. We've got both ways of use of that minji, means the design. The design tells us there's two ways we can use that design. In initiation, or we use in, in a man ceremony. Deep inside, when we go inside into, you know, the deeper, we use that design to show where we come from. People see our, some, our, my painting is just a line. Line. Very Jawanja, they sort of like diamond, whatever, the crooked lines over there. For you, you see that, and we tell you this one is my water, and you look at the sea, I don't see no line like that. That's what you are thinking. But in our heart and in our dream, we see it exactly what we are doing it on the park itself or on the boy's uh, body. And other young can read it too. Other young can, can read it. Mm. Even though Ngabaki, you have pen, a paper. When you want to write a letter to someone, you use pen and paper. But Yolngo, we use paper.
painting. That is the painting that tells we use as our paper, the pen. That is why we paint and we do want to tell because the writing it isn't ours. The painting is it isn't ours. It comes and it was brought from our ancestors a long time ago, many years ago, thousand years ago. Hoping for his future right? to be strong and a leader and a good leader. Strong leader. Strong leader. That's what we are hoping for. And we want him to expect other people's law too. Yeah. So he will know how to respect, respect other people's, other people's law. law. Well, you know why the old people wanted to move back to our homeland, sir? Huh? Because that's where is everything here. That is where our painting, our designs, our stories, and um, our culture is. That is why the old people wanted to move from Irkala in 1970 because that is their dreams, their wishes. Because coming back to homelands is because through our initiation through our ceremony and through our man ceremony and outside ceremony. That is why we moved from Irkala to our homelands. Staying at Irkala, there is so many things. So many things that we couldn't handle it. That is why there is a big area that young people, most of young people are, you know, away in town, drinking, fighting. That is why our old people said, we have to go back where it's safe. We have to go back and start, establish our own homelands. Look, the drugs now killing all the Aboriginal people and they're now ignoring our minty because of the drug what was brought to us. We're trying to stop the drugs and all that with our own minty by taking our own minty without no pub, without no nothing there to the place of isolated place where we can fish, sing, dance, make ceremony.